My name is Clarissa Chatelaine, and I'm a St. Bernard Parish resident, and I'm making this video because of a prominent politician named Craig Tafaro ruined my life. When I was 14, I started having problems, which led me to have problems at 9, which led me to prescribe medication overdose, which led me to a methadone maintenance program. Yeah, a methadone maintenance program. And that's why I seek counseling through and by Craig Tafaro and me, my son, and I. When Mr. Tafaro became my counselor, he would say thing, he he would say things about my personal appearances and su such as my cleavage and my cabbage when he used to see me go shopping <coughs> and invite me out to snowballs and nachos at the ballpark and you, you, he would make it. He would make it hard, you know. And if I did play ball, then he'd let me keep my son. But if I didn't play ball, then I I don't want to think about what that would lead me to. In my opinion, Craig Tafaro is not fit to be king. While I was in treatment, um, Mr. Tafaro also knew that I was going through. A bitter custard battle with me and my son. He meant he knew people in low places, and you know, he would he would look at me and he'd say, "I got friends in low places," and you know, if if I didn't play ball, he he would make sure that I wouldn't see my son and I. On one occasion, I had brought a video camera and a VCR placed it on the desk in front of him, pointed right at his face, and he asked me what it was for, and I told him I was doing a documentary on how people falsely accuse politicians of sexual harassment right before a runoff, and then commit defamation of character, and he, he just let me film him. But Oh, okay. Fortunately, it was lost in Katrina along with everything else and my dignity. I, I was at the drink machine and he, 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 said, he said, do you need some change? And we all know what that means. It means, do you want to change out of your clothes? It is my opinion that Craig Tafaro abuses his powers. I am doing this out of the goodness of my heart for no monetary compensation because I fear for every child and husband and wife in St. Bernard and they see Craig Tafaro, they're going to think, he's going to ask me for change too, or he's, he's going to offer me change when I need it at a drink machine. And we all know what that means. I took a professional test where I had to color in circles with a pencil and they determined that I was telling the truth about Craig Tafaro and my treatments. He is not who he says he is. He is half human, half machine. He was sent here from the planet Moltroff bent on ruining St. Bernard Parish for your women and children. Do not let him in your home. He will ask you for change. He will shake your hand. And he will say hello with a smile on his face. If you or someone you know has been a victim, you got to let somebody know you can't keep it in anymore. Call your local parish officials. Call your national parish officials. Call the Cake Battered Women's Shelter. Call in the Mounties. 
Colin... <laughs> Craig Tafaro's election signs? They say, take the next step. We all know what that means. Take the next step into your home to assault them like he assaulted me. And he likes them to play ball. Play ball? Come on, people. Take a step back. See, I waited about seven years to do this. I, I should have did it at the beginning of the election when I saw the signs, when I knew that he was running for president. But for some odd reason, I waited.